I suppose you're used to crawling in spaces like this. Archaeologist Dr Aaron Watson has been exploring Maze How for 20 years, which must keep his chiropractor pretty busy. But at the end of my rather undignified crawl, I can see why he keeps coming back. Well, so this is Maze How. I think you could describe this as one of the pinnacles of Neolithic architecture. Yes. Not just in Orkney, but in the British Isles. OK. Well, I, th I think I'd go along with that. The top of Maze How is supported by stepped stones to form an arch, a technique known as corbelling. And how is it held together? It's not presumably got cement or mortar it's or anything. It's completely dry stone built, yeah. so it's held together by gravity. So how old is it? It's around about 3000 BC, so 5000 years ago. 5000 years ago, OK. This structure was certainly made to last. Considering its age, it's in amazing shape. Around the main atrium, six-foot-deep symmetrical side chambers are embedded in three of the walls. It's clearly a very important building, but what was it for? There are other sites in the Orkney landscape which have similarities to Maze Howe. Right. They are often places that contained human remains. Well, looking at it and making an assumption, you see something like this. You imagine it might be something like a, a pyramid. You know, it's a, it's a mausoleum to a great king or a chieftain. So would that be the case? I think the evidence from the majority of sites like this is that you have many burials. It's not the resting place of a single person. All right. But Aaron thinks Maze Howe is more than just a tomb. This isn't just about death. Or if it is, it's maybe activities taking place here, rituals or ceremonies, right. that involve bits right. of dead people and other artefacts. I see. So this could have been a chapel or a church or a cathedral where you had a, a celebration of the death or the, in a note, you know, acknowledgement of the death. Why is the corridor in so low? Is that because they were very, very short? I think it's to really emphasise the distinction between the outside and the inside. It creates a transformation, if you like, and maybe if we use our imaginations, it's almost like the person who first approaches the mound and then bends down and moves into the passageway yes. is a different person by the time they've, and I don't just mean backache, yeah. they've gone through a series of experiential transformations. 